All right, here's a bit of a throwback for you. This is going all the way back to 2003. This is part of the, uh, the it says here G.I. Joe versus Cobra line, if you take a look right there, but it is definitely part of the Spy Troops. Uh, this was part of the two-figure set. This is Grunt uh, from that era. We'll give you a quick size. He's roughly the same, three and three-quarter inch. A little bit bigger now, but back then they still kept kind of the same size and was part of the new sculpt line so you can see all the new sculpting they had those weird what i think was usually tiny heads for the bodies but this one actually is a, a pretty good one if i can get them to focus this one's not too bad i always like the shoulders on these got articulation the swivel or the ankle articulation and this was before the knees or the crunch these were still um Technically, kind of the O-ring style um, here. The last of that before they moved to the new one. It's not really an O-ring style, but yeah, we'll show you the back of them as well. Somebody will need to let me know. Uh, he, he looks like, I don't know, if that is that his regular hair color, or is he suffering from that kind of uh, what happens with vintage Dukes? Is he a gray-haired gent, or is he blonde and it's turned that color? I don't know. Either way, uh, he was part of the Spy Troops line of double uh, figures. So originally he came with Destro, and in this lot you're going to be getting not only... Well, sadly, we don't have the Destro here. I don't know why not. Uh, our consigner decided to keep him. Maybe, who knows. Um, but he does come with that file card. So both his and Destro's, you get a twofer right there, and he gets all of his little uh, kind of cool stuff. The cool thing about the Spy Troops line was he gets these gauntlets, he gets these bracers, and if you look, zoom in a little bit. I got all this stuff in the back, so it's going to try to focus on that rather than here. You can see it's got the little Cobra insignia. That was a great thing about the Spy Troops line. So he's got these uh, knee pads right here. They'll focus. Well, they don't seem to want to. <laughs> Oh, got the knee pads right there. And then finally, you have the, uh, the Cobra mask. I cannot remember what this particular one was called right now. I'm sure the second I stop recording, it'll uh, occur to me. It goes right on over him. So pretty cool right there. So there you have it. He walks on into Cobra Island disguised as a, uh, not an annihilator. Ah, somebody in the comments will let me know. But as one of the uh, Cobra troops does whatever he needs to do. So you're going to get all of that gear right there. Pretty cool stuff. You're going to get the figure, the new sculpt, and you're going to get this little bit of ephemera. Head on over to thebigtoyauction.com. You can leave your pre-bids right now or join us live on auction day. Either way, we look forward to seeing you at the auction.